Tafacitumab is a new antibody that's directed at CD19. It's a monoclonal antibody, and it binds to, this, to the cell surface and B cells. The good thing is that CD19 is a pan B cell marker, or it's an antigen that is on almost all B cells, so it's a great target for therapy for large cell lymphomas. The ELMINE trial was recently presented, and this was a trial that combined tafacitumab with lenalidomide. Uh, again, this is a monoclonal antibody, and they combine it with a drug that has been shown to change the microenvironment. It can potentially increase ADCC, and that's antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity. We've seen in other trials, when you combine lenalidomide with monoclonal antibody therapy, you get increased activation of certain benign cells within the tumor microenvironment can potentially increase the activity of monoclonal antibodies. So the purpose of this trial was to combine a drug like this, lenalidomide, with this CD19 antibody and hopefully increase the responses that we would expect from that antibody alone. In the ELMINE trial, uh, they looked specifically at patients with relapsed large cell lymphoma. And this was a fairly beat up patient population. Many of these patients had had two or three lines of prior therapy. Nearly all these patients were transplant ineligible. But despite that, they saw actually a very high overall response rate, around 58% overall response rate, and 33% of patients had a complete remission. At most recent uh, follow-up, uh, the, the average PFS uh, in those patients, well actually in all patients in the trial, was over a year. It was nearly a year and a half at 16 months. In this trial, we also were looking at safety and tolerability of the combination, and the good news is, that the side effect profile really looked very similar to what we expect with lenalidomide as a single agent. And that means occasionally we see some neutropenia, rash, fatigue, and diarrhea, but not a lot of additional side effects with the addition of a monoclonal antibody to lenalidomide as a backbone. With large cell lymphoma, there are limited treatment options for patients, especially patients that are ineligible for transplant or failing standard chemotherapy. In the past, we many times would give these patients chemotherapy again, but unfortunately, many of them would not respond. So the nice thing about this non-chemotherapy-based regimen is we have another uh, bullet in our gun that could potentially knock out large cell lymphoma. Now, I think this regimen uh, may eventually be combined with some other therapies to hopefully achieve cures in many of these patients, but with an overall response rate of over 50% in the duration of uh, remission that's over a year, it's a great option for patients that really don't have a lot of treatment options with currently available therapy.